Sorry. Hello, everybody. It's Lego by Grago. And today, we are doing another top 10 video. And this is my first, like, non-Lego top 10 video. And today, we are doing top 5 Nintendo games. Now, when I mean, when I, and also, I know I just posted a video, like, a, like, an hour ago. But I wanted to make this video. So, yeah. But yeah, this is top 5 Nintendo games. Now, when I say top 5 Nintendo games, I do not mean, I mean a game that was made by Nintendo. Like, like a game like Mario or like Link or whatever that was made by Nintendo, not like a game that was ported to Nintendo that was imported to a Nintendo console, like DC Super Villains, Minecraft, Skylanders, any of those kind of games. Even if there's like a specific, even if it's like Minecraft or there's a specific like version for a Nintendo console. That still doesn't count. It's a game that was made by Nintendo. Because Minecraft wasn't made by Nintendo. It was made by, like, Mojang or whatever. So, yeah. But let's actually get into the video. So. Number five. So, number five is Pokemon Moon. Now, the reason I picked Moon instead of Sun is because this Moon is the one I have. And, yeah. So, So the re so what I like so this is like my first Pokemon game that I've really played at all and I quite li I quite liked it so far I haven't played it in a little bit but I quite like it so far I quite like it it has like this it just like a lot of stuff to do like this good story most like, seems in like a lot of the games and yeah just this seems like a pretty cool like game and yeah I like all the like being able to collect all the poke like all the Pokemon and all that. That's all. That was really be cool. It's always just cool, like just exploring little, like world and stuff. And it's a game with, like I've already said, a game with a lot of like, with a lot of content, to it, and that's good. I think with especially with a game like if a game comes on like the three DS or mobile console, it's good to have like a, like a lot of content because normally you're using you, a lot of times you're using mobile consoles on like trips and things and it's good to have a lot of content to use but yeah let's move on to number four so number four is splatoon 2 and the reason i put splatoon 2 instead of splatoon 1 is because splatoon 2 is the one that i have and have played but yeah so this game is just really so platoon is just really fun it's a really fun game like the multiplayer stuff is really fun because you're with it's just, it's just fun. I like how it's like a unique twist on like the shooter game type thing. And it's really cool. The only the only problem I have with it is that this is like not even like a problem with the game. It's more just like something. It has this like thing. I don't actually, actually know what I'm not going to say this because I actually haven't played this in a while enough to remember if this is a problem in the game or whatever. But yeah, but yeah this is a fun game. It's very like unique and all that. And, yeah, so let's move on. So, yeah, I like So I like it. It's really fun and, like, unique. It's just, it's a good, like, a game. I think it's, like, unique, kind of, like, unique twist on the, like, on the, like, genre it's in. And it's really cool. So let's move on to... Number, th number three. I just spoiled it. But, yeah, it's Mario Kart 7. I'm still... Yeah, so Mario Kart 7, and again, the reason I picked 7 instead of, like, the other ones that exist is because... The reason I picked that, this one, is because this is the one that I have on, like, my DS and stuff. And this one actually came pre-installed with my 2DS XL, which is pretty cool. But, yeah. And this game... Again, this game's just fun. Like, even though I actually played a lot of, like, the um single-player stuff where you, like, aren't really playing racing with actual people you're playing you're racing against like ais and that's been really fun like a really fun thing and also playing online is really for mario kart's really fun um it's also also really fun is the um like all the other things like the battle thing and the other thing now my version of the game doesn't have some like i think never mind because i was gonna say this my version of the game doesn't have any characters and that might be true but that i don't think that actually is true because you use you do things to unlock all the characters and haven't done any of those yet but yeah this game i think is just really fun the maps all the maps are really cool like the one that's playing gameplay of right now um it's like woohoo loop or whatever that's a really good one like the music one is cool a lot of them are cool and mario maker is just really 
just a really fun game. Or Mario, not Mario Maker, Mario Kart is a really fun game. It's just, yeah, it's just fun to play. So yeah, I think, so that's the end of that part. Let's move on to number two. So number two is Mario Maker 2. And the reason I put Mario Maker 2 instead of Mario Maker 1 is because Mario Maker 2 is the one that like I have and stuff. So yeah, Mario Maker 2 is, I quite, it's really cool. Um, I think it's, like, it's a good, like, I think you might notice from, like, from just maybe, like, kind of this list with the top choices of this list, and just, like, knowing what some of my favorite games are, like, Minecraft and, like, Sims and, like, other, some of my favorite games, and actually one of the games, come, the game coming up is one of my favorite games, but yeah, and I like games that are, like, that are, like, very open, kind of, like, the kind of sandbox ones, except, like, like, the games that are, like, you can just do whatever you want, not, like, have to follow anything, kind of just, like, do, like, whatever and stuff. That's just, the, that's, those games are just really fun to me, and Mario Maker is a, is a game like that, and, and yeah, I like being able to create levels. Um, I like the, um, like, the Endless Challenge, even though I like the 100 Mario Challenge from the first game better, but even that, like, and also this one, I think even if I had played Mario Maker 1, this game would still be better because it has just a lot more items. It has, like, the 3D mode. Or not 3D mode, but, like, the 3D world gameplay, game one or whatever. It has a bunch of stuff. There's a lot more, like, McDuff in this in Mario Maker 2. And it just looks better. And, and yeah, Mario Maker 2 is just a really good game. And, yeah, so I think we should move on to... Well, I think let's first move on. Before we move on to number one, let's move on to... Honorable mentions. Honorable mentions are games that almost could have made the list, but eventually just didn't make the list. Super Mario Brothers 3. Super Mario Brothers, the original one. Tetris. Okay, now we're at, we are at number one. And my number one favorite Nintendo game is actually Animal Crossing New Leaf. Which, yeah, the reason I picked this one above the other two, like Animal Crossing... The GameCube one, or I think Population Growing, you could call it, and City Folk, which are the other two that I've played. I haven't played like Wild World or like New Horizons or the other, or like the little, or like the other smaller ones like Happy Home Designer or whatever the Mo Pocket Camp or whatever. But the reason, and but I think this one, but the reason I picked those over those ones is because one, this one is the one I played the most, and also this one just seems to be the best one in general so far. I, again, I haven't played New Horizons, so I don't know if that one's any better, if it, that one's better or worse or whatever than this one. Like, I'm expecting it's better, but... But yeah, and this one is just really good. And again, like like I've said, this is the type of game that I like where it's like just open, you can like do kind of whatever kind of thing. It's just a really good type of game that I enjoy. I enjoy thing, but yeah. So I just like this. I like the mayor aspect of the like game that was introduced in New Leaf. I quite like that concept because you're able to like have more like control and add things to the town and stuff, and that's always really cool. Uh, this game's just like really cute because it has really cute little characters and stuff, and it's like it's just fun. There's a lot of con I best see New Leaf. This is I think with all of them, but best especially New Leaf. Um, there's just a lot of content. To the game. There's a lot of this, like, stuff you can do, like, you can, like, get bells, you can, like, like, you can, like, add things, you can, like, upgrade the stores, you can, like, collect items and donate them You can to the museum, you can, like, buy cool designs and customize your character, you can do all these cool things, and I think that's just really good, especially, like I said, for, like I said, with Pokemon, it's a, it's really good to have a game like this on, like, mobile consoles, because it's just, because you can do, like, because if you're on, like, a trip or whatever, you can just do, like, you can do a lot of the things. And this is really cool. I actually started a Let's Play of this game. And, like, and yeah, I started a Let's Play of this game. And, yeah, it's just a really cool game. And, yeah, it's also one of my favorite games of all time. Maybe, like, my second or third favorite game of all time. And, yeah, so I think that will do it for this episode, or not the episode, but top ten list. Um, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, um, tell me in the comments what are your top five Nintendo games. And yeah, so, um, if you enjoyed the video, then like it, 
If you enjoy and want to subscribe, then subscribe. And if you want to be notified of videos when they come out, then click the notification bell. And yeah, so yeah, that's the end of this video. So yeah, that's the end of this video, and we'll see you later. Bye!